This morning, new questions in the death of popular food writer and blogger Julie Powell, known for her book and film, Julie and Julia. Oh, Julia, you make it sound so simple. Based on a true story, Julie, played by Amy Adams, aspires to cook all 524 recipes in Julia Child's cookbook in under a year and blog about it. Meryl Streep nominated for an Oscar for her portrayal of Julia Child. Oh, never apologize. Powell died last week at age 49 from an apparent cardiac arrest. More than 300,000 people die of cardiac arrest each year in the U.S. But in the hours since announcing her death, fans of the author now wondering about the state of her health in recent months and whether it could have contributed to her demise. Pointing to Powell's tweet about her experience with COVID on September 10th, writing, decided to take a nap and woke up sick like a dog. This is how the COVID hits, I guess. While she said she was over COVID on September 19th, in mid-October, she reported feeling flu-like symptoms with a high fever. Her final tweet, just a day before she died on October 26th, revealing she had a temporary condition called black hairy tongue, which does not signal a major health concern, writing, people, including my doctor, seem to think it's no big deal and it will go away soon, but it certainly is gross. Powell's publisher, telling ABC News, Powell was a brilliant writer and a daring, original person, and she will not be forgotten. Medical experts say the black tongue diagnosis could be due to a variety of different things, such as excessive coffee or alcohol consumption. It can also be a symptom of alcohol or smoking dependence.